Hello, grade seven. So this week we are going to talk about the electrical appliances connected in series and in parallel. So in this lecture, uh, at the end of the lecture, you guys will be able to apply the laws of voltages and currents in a series circuit and the laws of voltages and currents in a parallel circuit. Now, before we start with the series and parallel circuits, let's take a look at the simple circuit. A simple circuit is basically a circuit that consists of a battery and a lamp, of course, a switch and connecting wires, but there are no more electrical components, okay? Just one lamp and one battery. This is a simple circuit. Now, in a simple circuit, the current that is flowing through the circuit that is flowing out of the battery is the same as the current that is flowing into the lamp, right? This is how we represent the current in a circuit. So it is the same. And the voltage, so you can see that, and the voltage across the lamp is the same as the voltage across the battery because basically the battery is a voltage source so it will provide this lamp with this amount of voltage you guys remember and a lamp it has its rated voltage so if the voltage given to it is greater than its rated voltage it will burn out if it's equal to its rated voltage it will glow normally and if it's smaller than its rated voltage then it will give a dim glow okay so yeah this is a simple circuit now in this chapter we're going to talk about series circuit where we're going to add another lamp in here and see how the current and how the voltage changes in a circuit. And we're going to talk about also the parallel circuit where we're going to add another lamp right here in another loop in a circuit and see also what changes. Let's start with the series circuit. What do we mean by a series circuit? Basically, it means that the first lamp, the second lamp, the switch, and the battery, they all belong to the same loop. You can see they are all found in the same loop. This means that this is a series circuit. I don't have another loop, let's say, and another lamp right here. No. And another thing, I can say that these two lamps are connected in series because they have only one common terminal. So you can see, they are as if holding hands at this point. Okay, just one common terminal and not two common terminals. Another thing about a series circuit is that whenever one electrical component in the circuit stops functioning, all others will turn off. What do you mean by that? Let's go to the simulation and check it out. Okay, so this is, I built this circuit that consists of a battery, two lamps connected in series, and a switch. The switch is closed. The lamps, uh, you know, both lamps glow. So now what I will be doing is that I will just simply delete one of the lamps and let's see what will happen to the other lamp. So let's say one of the lamps uh, simply burned out or stopped functioning what will happen to the other lamp it will turn off why is that because this is a series circuit once one lamp gets burned out or once uh, you know it uh, simply stops functioning this means that there will be no more electrical current flowing through the circuit and once there is no electrical current flowing through the the second lamp the second lamp will not glow Okay, this is the first thing. Now, okay, so now uh, we will be studying the current in this electrical circuit and the voltage across the different lamps and the components of this electrical circuit. Let's start with the current. So I will be, uh, I will be introducing an ammeter now i know the ammeter it looks weird in this simulation but this is the ammeter here 
Okay, so it's giving me a 0 0.45 amperes. This is the uh, current flowing out of the battery. Now, I want to know what is the current flowing through the first lamp. So I will be introducing an ammeter right here also. Let me open the switch. Okay, and then I will be introducing another ammeter also here to know, you know, the current flowing through the second lamp. Okay, just like this. So I'm going to close it and let's read the value. So 0 0.45 amperes, 0 0.45 amperes, and 0 0.45 amperes. This is what we call law of uniqueness of current, which means that I, that is the main current flowing out of the battery, is equal to I1 which is the current flowing through the first lamp is equal to I2 current flowing through the second lamp. So we say I equals I1, we have the same value, equals I2 equals 0 0.45 amperes. This is the law of uniqueness of currents. Okay, so this law is found when the, C, when the circuit is series. Now let's take a look at the voltages. All right, so I will be measuring the voltage across the battery and then the voltage across the first lamp and then the voltage across the second lamp, okay? First of all, the switch is open. So if I wanna try and measure the voltage across the battery, I would be getting a value. Why is that? But the switch is open. Remember guys, we always have voltage across the battery. Whether it's at a circuit or isolated, there is always a voltage across it. Okay, so now I'm gonna close the switch. So yeah, the voltage across the battery is nine volt. I'm gonna call that U. So I'm gonna say U is equal to nine volt. Okay, so this is the main voltage across the battery. Now we're gonna measure U1, the voltage across the first lamp, and U2, the voltage across the second lamp, and make, you know, our conclusions. So the voltage across now the first lamp, so I will be measuring it here. It is 0 0.45, and that across the second lamp, is, uh, sorry, it's 4.5, and that across the second lamp is also 4.5 volts. So what can you conclude here, guys? The voltage across the battery is 9 volts, voltage across the first lamp is 4.5, the second is 4.5. We can conclude that U, voltage across the battery, is equal to U1 plus U2, because 9 volts is equal to 4.5 plus 4.5. So, in a series circuit, we have law of addition of voltages. All right, so we talked about two laws in a series circuit. The law of uniqueness of currents that says that the main current that is flowing out of the battery is the same current that is flowing through the first lamp and the same current that is flowing through the second lamp because basically uh, we have only one path for which the current can flow. There is only one path where the current will go. Okay, so it will continue flowing through this one path. This is why we have law of uniqueness of currents. So it is the same current that is flowing through this entire circuit because this circuit is made up of one loop. There is no other way for the current to go. Now, as for the voltages, you guys saw that the voltage across the battery is equal to the voltage across the first lamp plus the voltage across the second lamp. So the voltage right here, it gets divided into two parts. Okay, so, uh, you know, it, uh, it gives each lamp a specific amount of voltage. Okay, so this is the law of additional voltages in a series circuit. Now, moving on to the parallel circuit. So what is a parallel circuit? A parallel circuit is basically made up of several loops. So you can see these two lamps, they don't belong to the same loop. We have one loop and then we have another loop. So this is called a parallel circuit. 
Also, if you look at these two lamps, you can see that they have two common terminals. So as if they are holding both hands and not only one hand as a series circuit. So yeah. Now there is one thing is that in a parallel circuit, every appliance, every lamp can function independent of the other, which means if one lamp gets turned off, gets burned out, the other lamp will light. Normally, it will not get affected. Let's check this out in this simulation. Okay, so you can see this parallel circuit that I built and the switch is open this is why both uh, lamps are turned off so now i'm gonna close the switch and you can see uh the lamps are glowing so what will happen if one of the lamps uh let's say gets burned out or simply you know i removed it so what will happen to the other lamp okay so it is still glowing it is not uh, affected by the fact that one of the lamps simply burned out or disappeared. So yeah, this is what happens in a parallel circuit. But why does this thing happen? Okay, so let's see why. If I want to follow the current, I know that if there is an electric current flowing through the lamp, then it will glow. Then there will be a voltage across it and it will glow. So if you follow the line, you will reach this point. What will happen is that the current, part of it will go this way and the other part will go that way. But this part, it will continue its way normally because the circuit, you can see it is closed from this way. Okay, so this is why the lamp will glow. But this part, it will reach to this point and then the electric current won't be able to continue its way. So yeah, but the first lamp will still be able to glow normally. So now I introduced three ammeters to the circuit. The first one will read the current that is flowing through the battery. And the second one will read the current that is flowing through the first lamp. And the third one, the current that is flowing through the the second lamp okay you guys remember in a series circuit the currents were uh the same okay we had the law of uniqueness of currents let's see what happens in a parallel circuit so i'm gonna close it and let's read the values so we have let's call this i i'm gonna call this i1 and i'm gonna call this i2 okay so the current will be flowing this is i this is I. The current will be flowing and then when it reaches this junction right here, okay, part of the current, which is the I2, will flow this way and another part, which is I1, it will flow through this lamp, just like that. Okay, so this one is I2 and this one is I1 and then when they reach this point, they will get, you know, added again into I. Okay, so I, you guys can see it is equal to 1.8 amperes, I1 equals to 0.9 amperes, I2 equals to 0.9 amperes. Now, what can you deduce? We can see that the current is additive here. So we can see that I is equal to I1 plus I2. So we have low of addition, addition of currents in a parallel circuit. Now let's check the voltages. So I'm going to measure the voltage across the battery. It is nine volts. So we have U equals to nine volt voltage across the battery. Let's check the voltage across the first lamp and the voltage across the second lamp. So what do you guys see? We have voltage across the first lamp, U1 equals 9 volt, and then U2 equals 9 volt. What can you deduce? U equals U1 equals U2. Voltage across the battery is the same as the voltage across the first lamp is the same as the voltage across the second lamp. This is the law of uniqueness it's unique it's very 
you know, the same law of uniqueness of voltages. So, yeah, in a parallel circuit, the voltage across the battery is the same as the voltage across the first lamp and the same as the voltage across the second lamp. So, in a parallel circuit where you can see the two lamps are connected, we have two common terminals between the two lamps as if they are holding both hands. So, what did we say about the current? We said that the current flowing out of the battery, okay, this is the current, the switch is closed, it will reach this point, this junction, this node. At this point, it will get divided, it will go two ways, okay, it will part ways so part of it will go this way i'm going to call it i1 which is the current flowing through this lamp and another part will go this way i'm going to call it i2 think about the current as flowing water so water will reach this point and it will get separated so yeah i2 will continue moving and i1 will continue moving until they meet again here and we can add them Okay, so that we can get the main current right here. So this is how the current flows in a parallel circuit. So we have law of addition of currents. Okay, and it is I equals I1 plus I2. Now, as for the voltages, we saw that the voltage across the battery is the same as the voltage across the first lamp and the same as the voltage across the second lamp. So we have the law of uniqueness of voltages U equals u1 equals u2 and that is it we're done with this chapter i hope you guys found it interesting we're done with the whole electricity and yeah i'll see you soon take care and bye bye